And thank you very much for your time. But before I let you go, Paul, you're going to get three questions. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't worry. Two of them don't necessarily have to have anything to do with transportation or automotive design. One of them is extremely automotive heavy. Um, and we start with the first, you know, with the first two, like you don't have to go into uh, too much car design. But if you could choose any project that you have not worked on um, in your career, which one would you choose? That I have not worked on in my career. Well, something that I worked on a little bit, but really I wasn't a part of the team. I, I contributed to a brainstorming session uh, one day, but I really wanted to be a part of the team. Was the uh, 24-7 concept that um, Lawrence Von der Acker did when he was leading the advanced studios in California and, um, and Detroit. Mm -hmm. you remember the 24 seven those three cars yeah those three little vehicles they could have looked a lot better uh but they were just so visionary and um that would be one cool yeah second one uh which designer that you have or have not worked with is the or was the biggest influence on your career well, it's funny because I think it's the same. Although Lawrence and I never really worked that well together, that guy blew my mind. He really opened my opened my mind up to a lot of different ways of looking at. It. He did this one thing that he called it the one. He he's he's like so. Um, it's the word I'm looking for. It's just like there's an innocence about his optimism that is contagious. Mm -hmm. He did this car, it was called the one and uh, it was a pickup truck kind of a thing. It was very, very three box. So the front fender uh, was the same as the rear fender because of the way the, on the opposite side of the car, because of the way it was like purely symmetrical from all views. right? And uh, yeah, so Lawrence was really inspiring for me. Last but certainly not least, if I give you a blank check, which car would you buy? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm always about like um, the the vehicle for the purpose, right? Um, I've, you know, I've always just been a huge fan. I would probably go with the, uh, uh, you know, like a, a GT2 or something, Porsche GT2. Which, any, any specific model? Hmm. Yeah, definitely. It'd be the 911 or the Carrera. What, what are you going to call it? It just the thing is so timeless. It just keeps getting better. Can't say that about too many cars. They just keep getting better. There are a lot of other cars out there that are awesome. You know, I think the uh, the new Defender is really cool. Um, and of course, you know, it's so nice to see the Ferraris looking good again. <laughs> I've, I've, God, I lived through the 80s and some of those Ferraris and Alphas were just real stinkers in my opinion yeah well you know like we we had a conversation um, I think it was a few months ago uh, on the pod as well we talked a little bit about the Ferraris and um, you know you can you, you don't have to like all of them but the average quality that they're now bringing out of their products is um, is really good yeah. I mean this you know, just to have that kind of base level of where you say like, wow, like, you know, what, what's coming out here is just really good yeah. is, is really impressive. I think this is one of the very few companies and obviously they're in terms of brand value, I think one of the, the, the highest rated car company nowadays. Yeah. Um, yeah, and definitely. It, that, that shows how important the design is as well. Yeah, so that's uh, that's certainly something of very much interest. Uh, and for they're pulling the water from a stone too. I mean, they, they keep coming up with fresh ways of approaching these wonderful proportions. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Before we before we drift off too much, because we could talk hours about Ferraris and uh, <laughs> exactly, yeah. probably beautiful Italian cars. Paul, thank you very much for taking the time. It's been the absolute pleasure. And uh, well, obviously, we will uh, link your LinkedIn profile into the uh, the subscription as well, into the uh, the show notes as well. We will link obviously CCS into the show notes as well. And uh, of course, you know, once again, thanks for for taking the time. I really do appreciate that your insights were 
And thank you, Martin. It was, it was my pleasure. And uh, to all our listeners, I hope you enjoyed that conversation with uh, the chairman of the College for Creative Studies in Detroit, Paul Snyder. And uh, if you have any questions, any comments about this, feel free. Uh, don't forget to rate and like us on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you listen to us. And you will hear back from the Shelton Podcast very soon with another episode. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.